Fabulous 103 FM with crew fun at Thai time. Good morning. สวัสดีค่ะ How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn today? Save money. You know, oh, a lot yeah, of people yeah, yeah, that yeah. okay. This Keep year, I have to, I have to really like save money, not spend that much for things that I really don't need, like me. <laughs> yeah. So go on. Then how do yeah. you say that? You know, money is เงิน n g i n right? Om n g i n Om. 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 n g i n n g i n So sell it o r Mhm. Om n g i n Om n g i n Yes. Very good. Save money. Yeah. Om is a long o. Om n g i n n g i n n g i n n g i n O om n g i n Yes. Save money. Om n g i n I think that's something we have to do. Om n g i n Yes. Yeah, good idea. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Are you going to score some points today? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We'll see. Right. We'll see. Um, none of you have got any points this week, no. so we'll do ladies no. first. Megan, what's your buzzer going to be? Oh, um, buzzer. <laughs> Buzzer. And your buzzer, Denny, what's it going to be? Um, Megan's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's a witch and buzzer. When you think you know the answers, buzz in. Mm. Are you ready for today's clue? Yes. Nice, easy one to know. Right, let's play Universally Challenged. Here is today's clue, OK? a y Getting a thrill... Where Megan used to work alongside male chickens, getting a thrill. Where Megan Buzzer. used to work alongside male chickens. Here we go. The Thai actress, Thai actress is coming out. And now. it's more than five seconds. Buzz, buzz cock. Buzz. She's buzz cock. Hang on, she's had 15 seconds to answer this question. I've, now I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Hang on, you can't give her that. You can't give her that. It's wrong. Congratulations, oh. the Buzzcocks, not Buzzcock. Like lost say, frequencies, the Cox. lost frequencies. Buzzcocks. She didn't. She said Buzzcock. She's wrong. Oh. You can't give her that. Buzzcocks. No. Hang on, I got rumbled on the lost frequency instead of frequencies. <sighs> She's got to get it now for Buzzcock, okay. not Buzzcocks. Let's have half a point each, then, Denny. That no, I didn't happy. get a point at all on lost okay. frequencies. You got it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Denny. So, what are you doing? Are you doing half a point? Sure, that was a wild guess. <laughs> Obviously, she used to work for Buzzin. Yeah. yeah. And male. Cock. Yes, male chicken. Male cock. chicken. Yeah, yeah. It's a cock. Well, I got it, but I would have put the in front of it and S on the end. So half a point reason. each, yeah. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> oh, he's got the half now. <laughs> I, <haven't. laughs> I, don't, I really don't care, honestly. He's <laughs> had nothing but grief of you this morning. Oh, yeah, 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 at, least, at least you can All give it. All right, him. then I'll give you half a point. Oh, thanks for... very much for getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to give me half a point for getting it wrong, right? Okay, at least we know where we stand. Right, it's one one nil to me then, eh? Uh, you're going to give that to her, really? After lost frequencies, you're going to give um, that to her. Just to make it more interesting for tomorrow's universally challenge, yeah. Oh, right, then, uh, Unless you accept the half a point. No, I don't want it. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, then suit yourself. So, <laughs> only just to, to be nice. Uh, just to yeah, confirm, one nil to Megan. One hundred percent. Yeah. You're quite happy for Megan to have the point, even though she cheated. She got the wrong answer. Yeah. Cheated. Well, she did the Thai actress thing, didn't <laughs> yeah. she? Oh, yeah. is it? Um, oh, uh, would it be? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. She did. You did. Well, and then you got nice, it wrong anyway. You know, You could have said Abba, and he'd probably still give you the point. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh, he's on one today. No, no, no. I, I just <laughs> stand in my ground about the lost frequencies. Right. Okay. okay yep. Move on. It was last right. year. It was last decade. That's true. Yeah, it was last decade. All right. So just confirm one you're happy that it's yep. one nil to Meg. So yep. You don't want I, half a point. No. She's offering you half a point. I don't want it. Okay. So when she meets right, you then tomorrow, suit yourself. Yeah. Well, she she'll, she'll be a whitewash. Yeah. yeah say anything tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Don't matter. You get it right. <laughs> Denny. Oh. Uh, well done to Meg. Yeah, well done, Meg. Thank, well thank you. Uh, one nil to Megan so far. All to play for tomorrow, then. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Here is the Buzzcocks. The Buzzcocks. <laughs> Don't be a drip. With not much rain, reservoirs low, and the dry season approaching. 
Thailand can expect a severe water shortage in 2020. That can affect farmers, businesses, and of course the water supply to your own home too. But we can all do our bit to help. Why not be part of the solution, not the problem? If you have taps, showers, or toilets dripping, get them repaired quickly. See a leak in the street? Report it to the water company. Wherever you are, turn taps off when you finish. And if you're staying in a hotel and spot water wastage, tell the receptionists. Because everyone in Thailand should be trying to save wherever possible. Don't be a drip. Food prices are on the up in Thailand, from markets to stores. This as drought affects fresh goods and pork exports are on the increase, mainly to China, where disease has seen many farms condemned. Rice, though, should see a fall in price as exports are down, mainly due to exchange rates. Predictions for rice exports for 2020 aren't as healthy as in the past, so the staple diet for most Asians may well see prices dropping considerably. Chiang Mai is chilly right now. Reports tell us that frost is on the ground early mornings in many places, seeing temperatures drop to one or even zero. That's seen a rush of visitors from around the country who, unlike Westerners, have never felt the cold stuff. Biggest issue, we're told, is that many arrive in shorts and skirts, with no idea that cold is cold and warm clothing is highly recommended. Bangkok authorities may be banning commercial vehicles from the capital on certain days of the week very soon, this is a smog continues to affect residents. No wind, little rain and a fog hanging over the city has seen repeated warnings to wear masks and to remain indoors where possible. That's not much help to the less well-off though, as often their homes are open to the elements. Pattaya air too is worsening with haze remaining over the city most days. A top private school in the capital is investigating a staff member who's alleged to have used her employment position as a cover as she sold fake visas and permits. A check on some of her visas at a crossing from Laos spotted that they weren't correct. Reports were sent to Bangkok, a full investigation was underway and she was arrested. Big C's president has announced that the company has thrown its hat into the ring of those interested in buying the Tesco operations here. Already a major retailer, and one that's been progressive in modernising its superstores, Big C has made a bid to the UK operators. Tesco may or may not up sticks from here but the chances are that they'd like to, after announcements last year in the UK that they were seriously reviewing operations in both Thailand and Malaysia with a plan to cash in. Ganja, cannabis, has seen a breakthrough in Chiang Mai as the very first clinic in Thailand to offer oil from the weed has opened legally to serve those with debilitating diseases such as Parkinson's. No small centre either, 40 doctors and 120 staff are already employed and the Centre of Traditional Treatments expects patients from around the world. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, residents in some areas are concerned that water supplies are being prioritised to industry over homes. The eastern seaboard is expanding and many are demanding that additional reservoirs be created to afford a proper supply to all. With this coming dry season expected to see droughts nationally and indeed across much of Asia, the wet stuff is a priority. New reservoirs have been built in Chantanaburi and Sakao provinces, but rivers that feed them often run dry now. And the Bang Pakong River is said to be low on flow, seeing seawater intrusion too. Roadworks continue to clog the city main roads this week and will continue for the weekend and some while making out-of-town shopping a bonus as opposed to sitting in traffic. Major stores along the Sukhumvit are seeing more business as wily customers avoid the centre. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 25, a sunny, pleasant day but humid tonight. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com. Be 
BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons at the BBC Sports Centre. Manchester United are through to the fourth round of the FA Cup after beating Wolverhampton Wanderers in their third round replay. They'll now face the winners of next week's replay between Watford and Tranmere. The only goal of Wednesday's game at Old Trafford was scored midway through the second half by Juan Mata. The game away against them it was already difficult and uh, we know they're a good team. It's taken us a few games to beat them and finally we did it and uh, we are happy today because another clean sheet. 1-0 at home, uh, good preparation for the game at the weekend which is a, a very special one and we are happy today. And that game at the weekend that Mata mentioned is against Liverpool. But will Marcus Rashford be fit to play? He went off with a suspected back injury just 16 minutes after coming on as a substitute. Manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer admits the decision to play Rashford backfired. I didn't want to play him, but it seems like it's a different... I think he got a, got a knock to his uh, knee or something in his, uh, in his back. But he's been struggling for a little while. That's, that's why we've... Uh, We've kept him away, uh, but we needed to, the win. He was involved in the goal, uh, so that, that was a positive, but it, was, it backfired. So I, I can just say that we'll do anything we can to get him fit for, uh, for Sunday. The Arsenal striker Eddie Nketiah will be staying at the club for the rest of the season and won't be going back out on loan. He's just been recalled from a loan spell at Leeds. Nketiah might be needed over the next few weeks after Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang lost an appeal against his red card against Crystal Palace. He's now banned for three games. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Things the British Embassy will never tell you. Part 1 Renting a bike is the nuts. It just is. And feeling that wind in your face as you fly through the roads on a big bike is even better. The freedom of the road is yours for the taking. And there are plenty of rental companies that won't ask to see a bike licence from your home country. Every year, the British consular teams work with hundreds of Brits who have bike accidents here. Some survive, some don't. Not having a license for the bike you rent can and will void all insurance cover, including your medical cover. Nothing worse than having the consular team calling your family and asking them to help you pay the hospital bills. Riding a bike is fun. Plan ahead, just make sure you have a bike license before renting. This advisory is neither sponsored nor endorsed by the British Embassy. No animals were harmed during production. It doesn't contain nuts and is suitable for vegans too. The Naglua Walk and Eat Market, also known as Naglua Walking Street, is an annual event now in its 10th year and has become a popular spot for both tourists and locals, with over 200 vendors offering all kinds of delicious local delicacies. The event is held to promote Naglua's heritage as an old fishing village and it's a great opportunity to enjoy locally caught seafood. The Naglua Walk and Eat Market will be taking place every Saturday and Sunday from 5 until 10pm until February and is located at the far end of Naglua Road. Not only is there lots of tasty food, but visitors can also enjoy live entertainment, music performances, concerts and cultural shows, making it a great evening out for the whole family. Oh, 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 oh,
Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here at the Hill Tribe Village Patia. Right here you can experience the real northern Thailand countryside. Right here in Patia there are many, many things to see and do. You can see the Long Neck Hill Tribe here. You can go on elephant rides. You can feed the crocodiles and go on horse rides. The list of the things that you get to see and do here is endless, you know. It's the perfect place to come if you want to see the real northern Thailand culture but not have to go right up to Northern Thailand. You can see it right here in Pattaya. So come on, let's head inside and check it out. Located along the bypass road next to the railway line in South Pattaya is the recently opened Hill Tribe Village Pattaya. Here you'll be able to experience an elephant ride whilst taking in the beautiful views of the village. Elephants are the official national animal of Thailand and were previously used as a form of transport. You'll also be able to experience the Northern Thai traditional market where you can purchase handmade goods and even try on and purchase the Hill Tribe clothing and accessories. A horse carriage will then be waiting to take you to your next stop. The horse carriages are a tradition from Lampang City in the north of Thailand and are still used as a form of transport today. The most popular attraction is the Long Neck Village area. Here you'll be able to see for yourselves the Long Neck tribes, also known as Giraffe Women or Galiang originating from Burma and mostly residing in Me Hong Son in northern Thailand. Brass coils are worn around the neck and legs, beginning around the age of five years old, with more coils added every couple of years. The village is also home to a large crocodile pond, where you'll have the opportunity to feed the crocodiles yourself. The Hill Tribe Village Patia a wonderful day out and a great opportunity to learn more about Northern Thailand culture without having to leave Pattaya City. Today I decided to come up to Pratamnak and I've come up to Buddha Hill, the largest Buddha image of Chambari. There you go. I got halfway down the hill, you know, from the top there where the Buddha was. And then I seen like this place on the right hand side, so I thought I'd have a look here. This looks interesting, so I'm going to do some filming. This looks like it's a Chinese temple by the look of it. Look at that. And then if we look out here, we've got all nice statues and things. Oh, yeah. Giant peacocks, or whatever they are, and a nice big uh, wall sculpture, all brightly painted. We might as well have a look round while we're here. Yeah, definitely Chinese. This, yeah, look at that brilliant. And behind him, Yang and Yang. I love these carvings, me, all dead colourful. And at the top, you've got the dragon protecting, obviously. That man there.
Oh, this is an hidden gem. I've never been in this place before. I've been up Budder Hill before, and if you do come up, don't miss this place because it's nice. It's like up there's like Thailand, down here is Chinese, and it's really tranquil because you're going lower down. And I'm now in a place called Zong Sun Garden. Good morning, ladies. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? What do you do? Feed the turtles? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, Thank you, ladies. Bye bye. Well, that's your lot for today. Um, got up early, half six, down on the motorbike, freezing cold, got here. Sun's coming up now, really nice and warm. All right, catch you soon in the next movie. Jeff Carter signing out. Keep smiling. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today we're about a 30 to 40 minute drive out of Pattaya City. We are here in Chombury province and I'm bringing you here today to check out a little hidden gem here in Chombury. We are here at the Chombury Grand Canyon. Look at it, it is beautiful. The Grand Canyon Chombury, located around a 40 minute drive from Pattaya City, it makes a wonderful day out for sightseeing and photo opportunities and it's a popular spot for Thai visitors which becomes very busy at the weekend. Upon your arrival you'll be able to enjoy the scenic views overlooking the canyon, once a functioning quarry with a reservoir at the bottom. Following the trail around the hillside, you'll come to several different viewpoints offering beautiful views. But be very careful on your feet, as at these points there are no safety rails. Another popular viewpoint is the Snow Mountain, a hill actually made up from pebbles as white as snow. It makes an interesting photo opportunity. with free entrance and a parking fee of only 20 baht. The Grand Canyon Chonbury makes a great day of sightseeing and exploring for the whole family. เนื่องจากปริมาณฝนที่ตกน้อยน้ำในอ่างเก็บน้ำแห้งขอดและฤดูแล้งที่ใกล้เข้ามาคาดว่าสถานการณ์ภายแล้งในประเทศไทยปี
ทำไมเราไม่ร่วมกันแก้ปัญหาคะแทนที่จะก่อปัญหาคะ่ะทุกหยดน้ำมีประโยชน์ถ้าก๊อกน้ำฝักบัวหรือชักโคกรั่วซึมจึงซ่อมมันอย่างเร่งด่วนคะ่ะหากพบเจอท่อน้ำตามท้องถนนแตกชำรุดช่วยแจ้งสำนักงานประปาที่ใกล้บ้านคุณปิดน้ำทุกครั้งหลังใช้งานค่ะและถ้าคุณพักในโรงแรมและพบเจอการสูญเสียน้ำรบกวนแจ้งพนักงานต้อนรับเพราะเราทุกคนในประเทศไทยมีส่วนร่วมในการช่วยการประหยัดน้ำค่ะถึงเวลาแล้วนะคะที่เราจะต้องร่วมมือกันช่วยอย่างจริงจังน้ำทุกหยดมีประโยชน์ค่ะ